Good afternoon, folks. Kevin Welling Vapor back again for another hardware review. A sort of hardware review. It's an, it's an abbreviated hardware review. Uh, it's the Pico Squeeze 2 from e -Leaf. Watch this. I'll be back with you guys in a tick. It's the box of the Pico Squeeze. As you can see, there's a picture on the front there. It runs on a 21700 battery. Usual TPD flashes. Right, let's get this thing out of there, shall we? Usual paperwork. Yeah, you've got a warrant, uh, a warning card there. You've got an additional information, product information card about the refill nozzle, etc. Coral 2 RDA manual, quick start. Yeah, and you've got the Pico Squeeze manual. And they're all in various different languages. Put that there. Put that there. So, what else do we get in here? Obviously, you get your mod. Bit of cotton, USB cable, some post screws, an 18650 battery adapter, P tool, some more post screws, 510 pins, so you could use the uh, the Coral 2 as an ordinary RDA. And you get your O rings. You also get a couple of Clapton coils with this. One comes pre installed in the RDA. Okay, right, so here's the uh, device. The place that I got this, which was totally wicked they don't sell the uh, or they don't put the bottles in the kit the bottles they give to you fair enough as well as the battery yeah the uh, front of your mod comes off like so and then you've got your usual bar slide thing yeah that on there. Uh, the battery goes in here there we go 21700 it's uh, 30 amp, yeah. It's one of those Avatar batteries. If uh, you take a look down inside, them, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can just about see that. You've got a red plus down there for your battery orientation. It's fair enough. The threading on this is quite good. As you can see, I've got the silver one here. Quite fancied it, actually. Let's take the RDA off. Uh, you've obviously got your squonk pin down in there. You've got a couple of screws either side there. The 510 connection threading is stainless steel. The uh, the pin down there um, is gold plated. It's not no, it's not spring loaded. So obvious reason why. <laughs> right, that's. Uh, you get a beauty ring on this. It's quite a big, heavy beauty ring, actually. In fact, the Coral 2 itself is a heavy RDA. It really is. Right, let's put that there. I'm going to actually, what I'll do is I'll use that to take the RDA apart. There we go. Right, as you can see, I've got a coil installed in that because obviously I've been using this. Uh, put that there a tick. Let's have a look at this. Now the cap, the cap itself, you've got one airflow slot there. It's domed inside so that uh, uh, the splashback will go down, back down onto the deck and onto your cotton. Right, now this drip tip, 810 whiteboard drip tip. And believe me, this 810 drip tip fits in here extremely well. I've had to use my side of my nail to pull that out there. You've got an O-ring in there to hold it in. Uh, there you go. You only get the one drip tip with the kit. Take a quick look at the deck. Uh, there's your airflow. You've got two bands around the, or two O-rings around the base. You've got the uh, post source in there at an angle, which they look as though they're, they've, they've fallen over, if you know what I mean. The airflow, it goes down and in, so what it's doing is it is actually hitting your coil as it goes in. You've got like notches there and there, and that basically is where what I've been using them for is to, is, is, is to uh, uh, is where the coil will sit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, so I'll put the uh, the, the rod in and that is basically where the uh, push that down and that's basically where I want the coil to be. The airflow system itself you've got like a dip in it so that it marries up with the cap. If we take a a look inside there, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on this yeah. There we go. 
yeah, you've got quite a deep juice well there. You've got, uh, uh, this is your positive post, and it's sitting on a, uh, a plate with the peak insulator underneath it, which is fair enough. On the bottom there, you've got your seam mark, you've got your wheelie bin, you've got your pins for your posts, yeah, so they can be taken out, and the whole thing can actually be dismantled and, uh, uh, you know, really, really cleaned. You've got, obviously, got your gold-plated squonk pin there. That's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, E-leaf coral 2 on the bottom there. Well, that's that. Right. Let's put this... Let's uh, get some uh, cotton in this thing, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to put some chicken shop. This one is the tropical in there. Uh, oh, so I'm going to dampen the uh, the quills down. I'm going to coil down with this. What did that work out to? So 0.26. Well, that's all right. That's not too bad. Mm. On the airflow up with the airflow on the cap. The beauty ring on. Oh, that's open. Oh, I'll do that when it's on the mud. Uh, sticker on the mud. Yeah. Right, now what we want to do is we want to put the bottle back in there and uh, I've already pre-filled uh, one of the bottles that Totally Wicked uh, gave me with this. They they give it to you in a little bag like this and uh, you have to screw the cap, the cap actually comes in the box, onto the, uh, the bottle. So ah, there you go. Right, let's, uh, let's put this in. When you put this in, <clears throat> the shallow end, not the wide end, the shallow end, yeah, goes nearest to the deck. There we go. There we go. Right. Pull that cap off of there, see if you can see that squonk action there, yeah, just about. Let's see the squonking. There we go. Yeah. Right. One thing I've found out about that squonk bottle, though, is it doesn't come out particularly fast. It takes its time. But then I suppose, if you think about it, all the uh, um, the the silicone bottles are like that anyway. I'm going to put this on. Well, let's put it on 30 watts to start with, shall we? Come on, there we go. And uh, well, let's let's go back up top and give this thing a bit of a toot, shall we? We've been yakking about this Pico Squeeze from a leaf or Pico Squeeze 2, yeah? I, I, I did a, a, a review for the original Pico Squeeze, oh, uh, about two years ago, I think, something like that. Yeah, anyway, it's down in my listings if you want to go and take the butchers at that. I'll tell you what, Coral 2 RDA is far, far superior to the original Coral RDA. For those of you that, that would have realised, I didn't actually go through the menu system on this. It is a very basic menu system. Very much like a leaf gear of past, um, with the exception uh, of, of that you hold your fire button down and you hold your plus button down to actually get into diff other different param parameters. If you click your you fire button three times, you will be able to change your wire parameters. That's fair enough. So this thing actually comes along with, I don't know if you can see that, there we go, look. It's got a, like a, a rainbow flashing 
bits. Now that actually drives me insane. So what I'm going to do, you can actually turn the LEDs off, which is a good good feature. I, I like that because the simple reason is because it's not going to be wasting your battery. And those lights, they do my head in anyway. I can't, I can't stand it. Let's just give this a bit of a toot. Now, um, I put it on 30 watts. And what we'll do is we'll close that airflow right down. There we go. So you can see that it's open a bit of a prim prick there. Right. So you can actually get a sort of mouth to lung style draw from this. Open that airflow up just a weeny bit. Yeah, and we'll whack the wattage up to, I don't know, what should we put it on? 45, there you go. Nice, nice draw on it, actually. I, I do like the draw on it. Let's open that up fully. There we go. And we'll bung that up to 60 watts. The actual coil in there is reading 0.24 ohms. You can get some decent vapour from this thing. Out of all the regulated squonks that I've got, I think this is by far the best. I It even beats, which I've yet to do the review for, because I've been taking my time with it, the uh, the Vandy Vape um, regulated 80 watt, yeah, from Tony B. I mean, that's, that's all right. I mean, that does a fair job, but I prefer this one. I really do, because... Uh, if you could put if you put lower um, coil in there, uh, I mean it goes straight straight up to 100 watts. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's five to 100 actually. No, I was wrong. It's uh, it's one watt. It doesn't round robin. Goes all the way up to 100 watts. As I say, I, I, out of all the uh, the squonk mods that I've got, I, I like this one, um, and I'm more of a an unregulated squonker rather than. Uh, than a regulated squonker, but I quite like this. It's doing its job for me. 60 watts, wide open. There we go. As I say, decent amount of vapor. Right, what else can I say? Let's just have a quick look at my notes here. Yeah, let's have a look, see what TW actually say about this, shall we? It's a weeny bit expensive, but totally wicked. You're looking at 80 quid, thereabouts. I've actually seen them down as, as low as 65 at other, other vendors. Totally wicked to say the original Pico Squeeze was uh, uh, unarguably one of the best squonk kits of its time. Uh, the budget squonk, that's what I called it. And they say here, how do you follow such a device? Well, with the E-Leaf Pico 2, of course. <laughs> the leading class squonk kit destined... To take the vaping world by storm. Well, now, whether it'll take the vaping world by storm, I don't know about that. Um, I can only give you my experience with it. And so I actually like it. I think it's a it's a good kit. So with many squonk kits flooding the market, the E-Leaf e Pico Squeeze 2 stands out not just because of its coloured LED lights, which I don't particularly like the idea of at least you can turn them off that is that is uh, the, the the thing there yeah reassuringly weighty with a superior build quality this thing is bloody heavy once you get that 21700 battery in there this thing is like a bloody brick it really is <laughs> While boasting plenty of safety features, it can put out to uh, 100 watts of pure power from 1 to 100, as you saw just now. And uh, it's got plenty of safety features on it, so uh, there you go. Um, capable of housing either a 21700 or an 18650 battery, and finished with a beautiful crafted and easy to build on Coral 2 RDA as the topper. This is the kit that existing squonkers will love and first time squonkers will need. Yeah, right. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, right, so you saw what came in the box. So that's fair enough. Uh, I'm not going to go go through that uh, with you. I will say, though, that uh, uh, the, the bottles don't actually come inside the box for the kit. They're given to you separately along with the battery. Uh, the coil resistances, the uh, ones that come with this, uh, around about 0.2. This particular one I've had going for a week. Yeah, <laughs> hence the reason why I wasn't quite, I wasn't uh, bothered about removing it. 
Uh, so for this review, it works out at 0.24 after strumming and heating and all. You know, did your output wattage, wonder 100 watts. Output modes, you got wattage bypass temp, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, TCR 1, 2 and 3. Resistance ranges 0.1 to 3 ohms. Temperature or TCR mode 0.5, 0.05 to 1. 0.5 ohms temperature ranges usual temperature ranges on this you got 200 600 100 and 315 c dimensions of the kit as a whole is 96 millimeters from top to tail including the rda yeah 55 millimeters across the back and 27 millimeter diameter for your tank on that that's fair enough the Weight, in, excluding the packaging, comes out at rather a hefty 298 grams, which yeah, is bloody heavy. I mean, this thing, once you get that battery in there, this bloody thing's really heavy. What can I tell you about this? In my testing of it, this door is a little bit rattly. It's nothing too uh, uh, too bad, but yeah it's a little bit rattly um you press your bottle in and your door will move that's one of my biggest gripes with this so if i oh there you go I'll press that in there also yes while it uh while you, while you can squonk with it perfectly that bottle takes a hell of a bloody long time to pop back out um not sure i actually like the idea of that so normally what i've been doing that's it there you go what normally what i've been doing is i've been giving it short pulses with that rather than pushing it straight in and having all the liquid coming up into the rda let's give it a bit of a toot oh lovely yeah and i'm dripping that is absolute typical with me <laughs> come out the uh, the airflow now normally i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't get any of that that's because i was a twat and over squonked it never mind there we go right one thing i must have got to say about this oh uh, i've got it in my fingers now as well one thing i have got to say about this they have put that fire button in the wrong place they really have they stuck it on the back of the mod in the center there yeah Instant your USB point on the bottom there. There's your front. You've got your advertising at the top here. You've got your up and down button in the centre there. And you've got a tiny little screen. That little screen, while quite bright, yeah, I have to put either put my reading glasses on or pull my glasses down like so, so that I can read the bloody thing. But look at the old man. Oh, dear. Right. No, the five button is in the wrong place. Yeah. It's in the centre there. I don't like that. I would much rather have seen it on the uh, on the side underneath the RDA itself, or even on, uh, where the well, no, you couldn't put it where the battery is because there wouldn't be enough bloody room. But uh, yeah, definitely underneath here, that's where I'd like to have seen it. But uh, uh, yeah, you put another RDA on this, and it's extremely uncomfortable to fire. It really is with this one airflow uh, uh, coral two on here because you've got the what you do, what i do is i make sure that the airflow is facing away from me yeah therefore i can hold the uh the unit like so Woohoo! loads of vapor yeah um not bad the itchy ring there's got a bit of knurling on it which matches the knurling on the on the battery cap which is absolutely fine this as i said just now this does move around a little bit it's not that bad um it's got magnets on or it's got a magnet on there yeah you've got a magnet on the uh, on the on the door there on the bottom if you can see that let me just there you go there it is and that just sort of sits on the on the stainless steel of the uh of the body of the mod well, that's fair enough, isn't it? You've got a little tab on the top there that slips in first and then 
Uh, there you go. On the bottom of the mod, you've got your usual CE and uh, uh, wheelie bin and some venting on there as well, which is fair. It's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right. Um, safety modes, short circuit protection, over discharge protection and over current protection on this. That's, that's, that's fine. Whoa. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, that's just about it, folks. Um, I'm going to call it a day there. As I said, this is really just an abbreviated... Yeah, it's gone on a little bit longer for an abbreviated review. Yeah, we've, we've been taking a look at the E-Leaf Pico Squeeze 2. I'm Kevin, the Worthing Vapor, from Worthing Vapors Reviews. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. Because you know I'm all about that vape. Air bubbles, I'm all about that vape, about that vape, air bubbles, I'm all about that vape.